Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The first Market Outlook video of FIFA 20 is here. It's Monday, you know what we do on this channel. During FIFA, we look at the market, take a look at what could be happening for the next week in FIFA Ultimate Team, and try to, uh, you know, maybe get ahead and basically just plan our week in terms of FIFA and what promotions we could see, what kind of stuff that we could see? Oh, what is this? A celebrations pack. Okay, nice objective right there. But we want to look ahead at this next week of FIFA, kind of look at what we could be seeing, market movements we can prepare for, and stuff like that. First thing that I noticed this morning, getting onto the game, 4 million live transfers. Oh, man. The squad battles market has influenced a lot of things. Squad battle rewards were last night, early this morning, and it looks like the number of live transfers has been affected greatly by that. So that's kind of uh, an interesting point that we can start talking about. But the main things we're going to talk about today are um, the game rolling out, the pre-order access rolling out today to a lot of people worldwide, I believe, at the time that I'm recording this video and as this goes live to you guys. Um, I think it's available in like Australia, New Zealand, and that's gonna that time frame is going to start sweeping across the globe as they kind of roll the game out and it doesn't always get released right at midnight Tuesday wherever you're at in that time zone uh, like I think here in the US the countdown shows that it's going to be live here at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern time which would be midnight UK so I guess I don't know if they're releasing it with for the US at the same time as UK we'll talk about that um, in a little bit as well and of course the stuff that is happening through the rest of the week what in the world 75 silver items what a celebrations pack i don't know what this is oh my gosh these are all celebrations all right get them in the club sweet 75 celebrations i was not expecting that pack all right there you go boys play a friendly match and you get all those celebrations sweet anyway we need to start talking about the market and what's going to be happening this week because there's a lot of stuff that's going to be happening this week prices going up prices going down things that we need to prepare for. So the first thing I want to talk about is the squad battle rewards that were out last night and how that is currently affecting the market. So last night, I'll show you guys my transfer list in a second. I bought into a lot of cards that were SBC fodder and that were low rated, high priced um, OP Prem cards like the SAR, um, Pulisic was another card that I bought. I bought Luke Shaw and I also bought some Lingard. I don't have a ton of coins so it didn't wasn't a, I couldn't do a lot of trading with this, um, but I also bought a lot of Doherty's because I was low on coins and got a ton of them on bid, so that was big. Um, but basically what I saw last night was squad battle rewards hit the market, hit some prices down right away, and then you were, avail you, you were able to do a quick flip with some of these cards that they haven't sold for me just yet. But you were able to do a quick flip with some of these, um, some of these meta prem cards. People got squad battle rewards, bought them, use them in their, their team, they got some coins, so that was the whole point of that. Um, and also what I saw interesting last night, I made a tweet about this and I said, you're going to be able to watch the supply of some cards and it might actually show us what kind of uh, market movements we might, might see on Tuesday when the full game comes out and more packs are open and more people come on the game, what could be happening with that, like what cards went up last night after getting some supply, basically what cards are people upgrading to in their teams. And it looks like a lot of these, uh, like the, I was looking at Shaw and I was looking at um, Sar and Lingard, as I mentioned before. And a lot of them went up right away, but now they're kind of just chilling, maybe even down a little bit more from the squad battle time period. And that intrigues me a little bit. It means they, they got a decent amount of supply. Um, but Lingard is being one of the most used players in FIFA 20. If we use this uh, very popular tool called PGP, over here on Flippin, I'll show you guys in a second. Um, but console PlayStation 4, I always like it sorted by console over here in the PGP tab so that you know what's going on. But I believe that uh, Lingard, yeah, Lingard's right up here with one of the highest amount of games played and his price is still kind of fluctuating a little bit. This is a very important page for you guys to use. Players PGP, this is where you get here, Players PGP, click on Games. You can see the most games um, that which cards have been used the most and this is important for you know investing and seeing which cards people are using maybe it can kind of show you which cards people are upgrading to as well there's a lot of games being played 
Obviously, Premier League guys are up here at number one. But I think this guy surprises me. Morales, the striker, 13K, 82 rated. That's an interesting thing to watch. So watch that this week with informs, with gold cards, to see which cards people are using. But I also, mentioning that, um, those could be some investments come Tuesday because Tuesday full game release a whole new wave of people come onto the game start the game They don't they didn't have EA access. Maybe they got on the web app for a bit So they they have a little bit of their club set up already. Maybe not much um, But a lot of new people are going to be coming on the game and it's going to be sort of like EA access for some cards Obviously, during EA Access, we saw big-time rises in the market in some of these cards that people wanted to use for their teams. Even some low-rated guys like this Joe Gomez, who is down in price a lot. 5,400 coins. GG. Um, squad Battle Rewards is hitting the market, man. So some of those cards are down a lot, but people are going to be buying them up and using them in their teams. So you probably might see an uptick in some of those cards, especially concerning Joe Gomez is the... Number one used card on PlayStation 4 in terms of games played, 8,000. Lucas, Willian, and Dombele, Felipe Anderson, Havertz, Rashford, Sissoko, and Pereira are down there as well. But um, those are the kind of cards you're going to want to watch out for on Tuesday. And we're going to talk about a few different cards to watch out for. Um, you want to focus on those meta and OP cards. They're going to get packed some, and they're going to rise right after. So basically what you can expect from Tuesday through the rest of the week is a rise up until Thursday or early morning Friday when the full game releases, especially for ones to watch investments uh, like this Brant card. He's still chilling around 100, or, not 100. He's still chilling around 20,000 coins. And Dombele is still right around 22,000 coins. So that's kind of their normal price range as possible ones to watch cards. Um, so those are the kind of cards that you're going to want to watch uh, in the next day or so. Because this is when I told you guys before, be looking to invest in some of these ones to watch gold cards that will go out of packs. Uh, Tuesday is a great time for that. And especially with these prices already dipping down a little bit. People getting onto the game and opening packs uh, for the first time via the pre-order access if you ordered like the ultimate edition or the champions edition that could be a good shout in the next couple of uh you know hours actually the next day or so be watchful on the market for some influx of supply on these players um wow that one's actually got a shadow on it what is the cheapest what is the cheapest one with a shadow yeah he's probably gone but Let's just see what profit I maybe could have made on that card. So it looks like I could have bought that one for 22 and sold it for 26 because the cheapest end with the shadow is 26. So that's a, that's a bit of a rip right there. That's another position change or uh, chemistry style trading that you can do um, with some of those cards. Which just wasn't, just wasn't sure if that was going to work out. It looked like it did. But I'm rambling, boys. The big key is Tuesday, more people coming out of the game. The next wave of people are going to be coming onto the game, which presents a great opportunity to buy some cards because they're going to rise after like the EA Access hype where packs are being opened right away and people are getting coins. More packs are going to be opened on Tuesday because people actually have access to the full game. There's no 10-hour trial. Some people that have a ton of FIFA points probably weren't even able to get up through them all in 10 hours. So that's a point that has to be made. There's going to be more packs open on Tuesday, which is going to drop the prices of cards in the short term, in the really quick, like let's say people start rolling onto the game at midnight UK, you're probably going to see the cheapest prices, you know, morning, mid-morning UK time on Tuesday. So morning, mid-morning UK time on Tuesday, which will be early morning for me in the US. That's probably when you're going to see some of the cheapest prices from those people that were opening packs, selling their, co their cards to get coins, and then they're going to go out and buy cards to put in their teams. You're going to see some of those players, like people are wondering, you know, Lucas Hernandez was extinct at, at uh, 40K, and he's about to go extinct at 50, but I think they upped his price range. Is that true? Is Lucas Hernandez? Yes, they upped his price range to over 50,000 coins. Is he 50K right now? My dude is, uh, he's close to 50K, so... Like this, Lucas Hernandez car that has been up, he's been going up and up in price. I mean, he might get hit with a little bit of supply, but then this is the type of card who I still feel like is a bit undervalued. These types of cards, the market's really going to sort out their values and really, um, if you if there is a card that is still too low, you're going to see it go flying because there's going to be a lot more demand for cards in this game 
come Tuesday. So that's the first point that I wanted to make to you guys today. Tuesday is going to be a great day to invest in the ones to watch golds. And it's going to be a day where we have a lot more people coming on to the game. You're going to see a lot more activity on the market. This number of transfers out here right now at like 4 million, which is pretty high um, for this level of game. You're probably going to see this not double, but I think on Tuesday you could see this at maybe 6 million. It's just going to show you how many more people are going to come onto the game. And then of course, on Friday, it's going to be crazy high as we have more and more people getting onto the full game then as well. So from Tuesday to Friday, you're going to see prices rise up in just about every single area except some of these low rated guys. So one example that I think is going to be a perfect example of somebody who's going to lose their value in the next couple of days is going to be Christian Pulisic. He's 25, 2400 coins right now. He got hit a little bit with squad battle rewards um, supply last night. But this is a 79 rated gold card. This is like a starter team card, like specifically. Like, that's it. You're going to use this card in a starter team. That's really all you're going to use this card for. Um, and this is the type of cards, as we looked back in years past, these types of cards get hit big time on Tuesday, and they continue to drop into Friday, where they get hit, hit even more and basically go to 1,000 coins or below. So I think you can expect this Pulisic card to maybe be, you know, two. 2,000 coins for uh, Tuesday morning might drop to 1,500 throughout the day Tuesday. So if you're looking to invest in some of these cards, I don't think the gold low rateds are the shout anymore. The guys to invest in are going to be those ones to watch cards that you still think are low. And I'm going to make a video on that here really, really soon. Probably today as well, double upload on which ones to watch cards you can look out for. Um, just a couple names that are off the top of my head. Kalor Navas, I think, is an interesting one to me. Obviously, we looked at Ndombele. I think he's going to get a once to watch. And I think that, um, that Brandt has a good shout at getting into. So we'll look at some of those cards because Tuesday is going to be a uh, prime opportunity to get those cards if their prices do drop with some supply coming on the game as people open packs. So I want to look at some of that stuff as well. But then heading into Friday, a lot of stuff, if you're investing in a once to watch card, let's, let's say you're investing in a guaranteed once to watch like Jovic, and we'll talk about this in that next video too. A guy like Jovic, what is he at, like 6K? 5K? Yeah, somewhere around like 6,000 coins. If it's a guaranteed once to watch that we already know is coming out of the game, most times you're going to want to sell in the hype on Thursday, okay? Not waiting till Friday when everybody else has the card they've invested in, they know it's going out of packs. And they go in and sell on Friday, and then the price just drops. Like last year, we saw that with Goretzka. Goretzka was his highest, basically, um, on Thursday before the full game released um, because he was so over-invested in. Same with Mares. Um, they were pretty invested. And the guys that are going to make you coins are the guys that fly under the radar that not as many people are talking about. Maybe a Kalor Navas. Um, if you have a lot of coins, an Antoine Griezmann. Uh, I think this card is pretty pretty cheap. Is he still 300k? Yeah, he's right around 300,000 coins, a little bit under 280. Uh, I mean, if you can snag this card, maybe on a snipe on Xbox at like two, or excuse me, on PlayStation for like 260 or 270 uh, on Tuesday, when a lot of stuff is oh 267. Okay, maybe 250. If you can get yourself a Griezmann at 250 um, in some uh, supply. Maybe maybe a snipe or something on Tuesday. That could be a great investment for you. I think he's getting a once to watch. So that once to watch stuff is going to be big heading into Friday as those cards do go out of packs. And of course, Team of the Week cards as well. Um, we still have a De Young card. I think it's extinct still, which is pretty crazy that this De Young card could still be extinct. Um, but there's going to be some supply that comes out for these cards on Tuesday. As well, so the big day this week is Tuesday, and then the big big day is Friday. But we'll talk more about Friday as that comes. I wanted to really just mention the Tuesday stuff since that is so soon on the market. Um, and yeah, the market this week, you're going to see a lot of things just continue to trend up. Meta players, even though you think they're they're so high and they're not going to go any higher, let me tell you, they're going to continue to go higher, um, especially if they are prem, if they are popular cards like this Roger. I think what is he like 30k? Is he 30? Ah, he's dropped a bit, dude. Oh, situation with Rodri. This is a once to watch potential as well. He was like 32 or 33K last night. What's my man now? 28,000 coins. Wow. So he's dropped about 5K. That's big time. He's a very good card, and there's a huge price discrepancy between him and Fabinho, who are sort of comparable uh, in this game. So 
that's going to be something to watch as well. If you're on if you're on a higher budget, you could drop down 200k on maybe you know maybe 10 of these cards, 300,000 coins. That could be a great uh, wants to watch investment for you. So that's the kind of stuff that we're going to be looking at today and over the next couple of hours as we head into the biggest week on FIFA. Uh, the biggest week on FIFA because the game is coming out. I'll say it like that. There might be other big weeks on FIFA. But this one's pretty big. So if you enjoy the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.